Hey everyone, my name is Brit. Welcome back to a new reading vlog. So I want to get cozy and try to read a lot because I am not in the best reading mood and that is because of my Nintendo Switch. I recently downloaded Disney Dreamlight Valley. I should not have done that. It is one of those perfect cozy games like Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley and it is kind of like a Sims uh, Disney game. It's amazing, <laughs> but I am going to try to not play as much because I've been reading this book, Betty, for a very long time. I started this one last October, at the end of October, and I'm only 60 pages in. Even though this is really good, I'm just in not a great reading mood, so I'm going to try if I like cozy up everything. Maybe it will help. This is an incredible coming of age story where you follow a girl and her entire family as they travel through the United States. And it takes place in the 50s. And this girl is the daughter of a white mother and a Cherokee father. Big themes in this book are racism and poverty and family. And it is already incredibly moving. And I don't know why I haven't read more of it because I'm pretty sure I'm going to love this book. It's just that I'm not in the best reading mood. So I am really excited to continue reading this and hoping that doing this reading vlog will kind of help me, you know, get back into the reading mood. I'm also sitting in my new reading chair. If you haven't checked out my video of how I designed my new bookshelf, I need to put some more books here actually. <laughs> Um, you can check it out of that, but I have a new reading chair that I'm sitting in right now. So I'm going to sit here a lot and read in my reading chair with some candles, some scented candles, and hopefully read a chunk from Betty. My bookmark also really matches. This is my new <laughs> purple bookmark, which you can get in my shop. Uh, so I thought I would match the bookmark with the book. So it is currently Friday, so I do have to work, obviously. But maybe this afternoon I will go to a cafe and get some tea or coffee and just drink there because the weather is like amazing. It's really, really cold, but it's super sunny, which is my favorite autumnal weather. So let's do some work and I will keep you updated on my reading. And by the way, if I don't feel like reading that book, I can also read this book. This is the newest book by Patti Smith. It is called A Book of Days and it is 366 because she wanted to do the leap year instead of a regular year. So 366 photos that she all made using her camera or just her iPhone. And she wrote a little story, you know, with those photos. So it's basically a kind of look into her life through photos, which is amazing. I love Petty Smith so much. So if I don't feel like reading a very, you know, heavy book, I can always just read a couple of pages of this one because this is much more of a quick read. I already read a little bit, just a few photos, and I'm loving it already. Oh my God, she's so cool. So this is the second book that I'm also reading. Okay, so I know I'm going to get a lot more cozy because I just bought this. <laughs> this is a heating blanket that you can put underneath your sheet in your bed because my bedroom is the coldest place ever. This is a really old apartment. You can just feel a breeze everywhere in my bedroom. That's why I always have the door closed when it's cold because it is freezing. It also doesn't really make sense to put on the heating because then it has to work so hard to get it warm that I just don't put the heating on. And especially now, energy is crazy, so I don't want to do that. So I bought a heating blanket that apparently doesn't cost a lot of energy because I saw um, some videos about this one. It's, this is from Hema, by the way. So I'm gonna try it out right now, just like on my couch to see if it works and if it warms up. Oh my God, I can't wait because every time I get into bed for 30 minutes, I'm just like shivering because it's so cold. Okay, let's try out this blanket. I don't want to move. I put it on my couch to try it out. I already can't wait to go to bed tonight. This is gonna be so lovely and warm. I just put it on the, the hottest um, setting right now just to see like how warm it gets. And then I think tonight I'll just turn it on like 15 minutes before I go to bed. And then when I go to bed, it will be warm and then I can just turn it off. And oh my goodness, why didn't I buy this sooner? I'm already obsessed. I just did some groceries, so it's a mess right now. So I'm gonna clean this up whilst listening to my audiobook because I'm finally listening to a good audiobook again. And it is this one, 
The People We Keep, written by Alison Larkin, Larkin. And I've had this one on my shelf for quite some time now, but it is so good. I don't know why I've never picked it up before. So this is about a girl named April and she runs away from home when she's a late teenager um, because she's just not happy where she lives. She wants to make music and this is all about, you know, where she's going, finding a new job, finding new friends, new people. And it is so good. I think I'm like 60% of the way through. So let's see how far I can get right now. This is one of those books where you just don't really know what to expect, but I'm already so pleasantly surprised. I'm very excited to continue listening to this. The narrator is also really great. So let's clean up this mess and clean up the groceries while listening to this one. Okay, I just read a little bit more from uh, A Book of Days by Patti Smith. It was very cozy in my reading chair. I also put new batteries in the, in the fake candles because, damn, these batteries run out fast, but I have them on literally every time when it's dark. So they're on for hours. Now, very exciting. I'm going out with some friends, like going out, going out, not dancing, going out. It's like six, we're going out for drinks and food, which is my favorite type of going out. Wearing my new, Villa Glossier lipstick that I got in London like two weeks ago when I was there with my mum to see all the Christmas lights. I also made a vlog about that with a big haul at the end. So if you want to check it out, you can check it out up there. I bought this beautiful lipstick. It's very nice and nude. I like it. And then my teddy coat, which is my new favorite coat. It is surprisingly really warm. I didn't think it was going to be really warm, but it is. And the pockets are so big, honestly take this book it would easily fit in there two books even oh my god <laughs> no i'm not going to be taking this one with me but i could if i wanted to happy saturday so yesterday was so great and also i feel like such a grandma because we were home by 10 15 because we already had dinner and drinks and honestly this is the perfect type of going out just be home by 10 and be in bed by 11. <laughs> the cocktails were again so good but it is saturday morning right now i'm going into town because i'm trying to find new black boots and it's honestly the worst thing ever because there are a gazillion black boots out there so i kind of don't know what i'm looking for <laughs> There are too many options. So we'll see if I can find some nice black boots. And I'm going to be listening to The People We Keep because I'm going to be walking to town, which is like 30 minutes. So I can listen to my audiobook. Let's go. Let's take a look at some Christmas decorations too. And hopefully I'll be able to find some boots. Guess which show I've been watching today? <laughs> no, unfortunately the braids have got to go. Look, I've got way too many layers, but I'm wearing an all black outfit though. I thought, okay, I have to try this because this Wednesday has got a fringe and we have kind of the same fringe. So I had to try it out. Oh, now I wish I didn't have that many layers because I'm liking this. Update, I did find some black boots. Finally, <laughs> honestly went with the most basic ass black boots, but they're very nice Chelsea boots and the thing that I love is that this part is really narrow because I have very small ankles so it's normally all these boots are too big but these ones are kind of hugging my ankle which is so nice so I'm going to be wearing this tonight because I'm going to 
Michelle from Books Michelle. She's hosting a little birthday celebration with all of our Dutch booktube friends. So Michelle, Leora, Leonie and Sabine. So I'll be bringing my camera with me, see if I can film a few clips here and there because it was Michelle's birthday in November. So I'm going there right now. Happy Monday morning. So look closely, something is different in this shot. And you will see more about that in my first Vlogmas video. <laughs> that is going up very, very soon. In December, I'm going to try to film as much as possible. I'm not going to do daily vlogs, but just upload more vlogs more frequently. So I've already started filming my first Vlogmas to do something very festive. <laughs> But this is still this reading vlog, although I don't know why I'm calling it a reading vlog because I honestly haven't done much reading. Saturday at Michelle's was so much fun. We finally were with the five of us again, our little Dutch booktube group, and it was such a lovely evening. And then yesterday and Sunday is when I did this, but now it is Monday morning. I am going to work in the Swan Market store in Leiden today, which is a concept store where I sell my products and going there, I plan on finally reading a bit more from Betty because I haven't read anything more. However, I'm feeling it. It's a fresh week. I can do this. I did, however, listen to loads more from the people we keep. I think I'm like 80% of the way through right now and I'm still enjoying it so much. It is so good. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to finish that one soon. But for today, Betty is really my priority. I have half an hour to read on a train, half an hour to read on the train back. So I will see you um, later today with hopefully some reading updates. restock this for the busy Christmas month. Also, this is the best coat to take with you if you want to read a book on the go because it fits. <laughs> Amazing! So I could just like walk and then poof, got my book. my face and hair. <laughs> I don't know what this is doing. After a full day of working from 8 till 5 right now, um, I have a headache but I had so much to do so I wanted to get it all done today and now I'm really going to stop and relax because I'm tired and I don't think I've moved from this chair more than three times today which is not good I know but I just wanted to get everything done. However, yesterday I managed to read about 70 pages from Betty. I can feel the reading mood is coming back. Literally all the pages I read yesterday was so incredibly painful because they talked about racism so much. And this is actually based on the story of the writer's mother, who was the daughter of a white mother and a Cherokee father. Um, so the fact that, you know, this is all based on real life makes it even tougher to read incredibly sad and touching and you know, just the family aspect of this is also really beautiful and moving um so i am definitely going to continue reading today i'm very happy that i can feel the reading mood is coming back however i am going to end this vlog here because i want to upload this one today because on december 1st my first vlogmas will go live oh my god i'm so excited in that video i will decorate my christmas tree i will open up my first advent calendars and just get into 
into like the Christmas spirit. I'm going to decorate a bit in my house as well. So I'm super excited for that vlog. But if you've reached the end of this video, please comment a little purple heart emoji because I feel like this book already deserves a lot of love and it's very purple. I really hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next one. Thank you.